Hello friends, welcome, welcome to your channel. This is Arun Kumar and this is Chemistry Crafters with Bono. Today we will discuss about detergent enzymes. What is detergent enzyme? Is it a compulsory ingredient in liquid detergent? Is there any alternatives? What will be the cost of detergent enzymes? All those things. First, let us try to understand what is enzymes, then we will go for what is detergent enzymes. Enzymes are a kind of proteins, more or less available in all the living system, all the living organisms. In our human body itself, more than 1000 enzymes are available. All the enzymes are having different names, different chemical structure different chemical nature and playing a vital biological role. Among the thousands of enzymes, very few enzymes are found to be very active in removing the stains on fabrics. These few enzymes are called as detergent enzymes. Amylase, Protease, Lipase, Cellulose these are all some of the important enzymes capable of removing stains from fabrics. These enzymes are available in living systems like fungus, bacteria and some plants. After the extraction process, most of them are in solid state. Each and every enzyme is very effective in removing a particular type of stain on fabrics. Commercially, the detergent enzymes are available in liquid form. I mean, the liquid form is nothing but the particular composition of solid enzymes in proper medium and in proper pH. So, the storage and handling becomes easy. No one word answer, it depends upon our usage. Suppose if our laundry load, if our fabrics contain only the dirt and grime, then we can use liquid detergent without enzymes. This is absolutely correct. Suppose if our fabrics contain dirt, grime and also stains, then to get perfect washing and superior washing, we need to use liquid detergent with enzymes. Otherwise, we cannot get it. How it is possible for enzymes to remove tough stains on the fabrics? What is the mechanism? It is very simple. In our fabrics, whatever the stain may be, it may be blood stain or a tea, coffee, tomato sauce or something like foodstuffs, whatever it may be. In chemistry point of view, it may be either proteins or fat or starch, that's all. So these are all having some specific structure. Similarly, all the enzymes are also having some specific structure. Each and every enzyme is having different structure. Interestingly, the structure is exactly opposite to each other, like interlocking pattern. Let us look at the picture. Imagine here, the ash color is the structure of enzymes. The red color is the structure of stains. Both are having exactly opposite structures. Apart from that, sometimes uh, positive and negative attraction also possible. So the enzyme structures are perfectly matching with the structures of the stains. This is the mechanism of removal of stains by enzymes. Now, 
no doubt enzymes are highly effective in removing the stains and gentle on fabrics eco friendly 100% biodegradable but the problem is it is costly one thing and the another thing is the availability it is not commonly available in all the chemical shops because its storage and handling is difficult it is sensitive to heat and sunlight so there is a search for cheap alternatives oxygen bleaches specifically we can say hydrogen peroxide as an alternative to it is not equivalent to it is an alternative to enzymes hydrogen peroxide also eco friendly material and effective in removing the stains it is oxidizing agent but while including the hydrogen peroxide in liquid detergent we need to consider some parameters hydrogen peroxide is available in many concentrations in what concentration we are using and how much quantity we are going to use in our liquid detergent suppose if it is excess quantity then there are some problems mainly it may release some oxygen so the internal there is possibility for development of internal pressure in storage containers one thing second thing is that there is possibility for decolorization of color either partially or fully so you have to careful in choosing the color or in choosing the amount of hydrogen peroxide here one more thing we'll discuss in aerial website official indian website they have mentioned what are the raw materials they are using in which they have mentioned hydrogen peroxide also one of the raw materials detergent enzymes are general terms at least four enzymes must be there in that detergent enzymes the price is depends upon how many enzymes are present in particular detergent enzyme all four or few of them and also what will be the concentration depends upon these factors the rate will be there